Hey everybody, how's it going? It's your girl Khadija Baines here, number one clarity queen, number one brand strategist. And tonight I wanted to talk to you about pretty much an amazing topic. And this topic relates to absolutely everyone. If you're someone who's an entrepreneur, perfect, it relates to you. If you're someone who's been in business for 50 plus years, guess what, perfect, it still relates to you. Or if you're just someone who's just wanting to have an amazing life for yourself, you just want to have goals and you want to reach them, you want to be happy, you want to spend time with your family, you want to be the best mother, the best daughter, the best son, the best nephew, you just want to be a great person, then guess what? This video is for you. So watch this video all the way until the end because what I'm going to reveal to you is amazing strategies that some of the most highly successful people have used yes i'm serious though like the most highly successful people have used these specific strategies well this one specific strategy in particular and it has helped them to catapult their business it has helped them to become and just like an amazing person and it has helped them to just like take their life to a much higher place and become just generally more happy with themselves so before I get too started in the video, let me go ahead and share this out, and then we can go ahead and get situated. All right, so it's so interesting. Like, it's not letting me share it. Okay, I'll have to share it later. <laughs> so basically, what I wanted to talk about is this. If you fail to plan, then you will plan to fail. Now, this is something that the most highly successful people such as Will Smith, Oprah, Jeff Bezos, you know, Mark Zuckerberg, um, any highly successful person that you can think of, they have completely mastered this. They have mastered this. And this is the reason why they are so successful. People always wonder, well, what makes Will Smith so special? What? What really makes Oprah so special? Like, literally, what makes Oprah so special? She's from Baltimore, Maryland, just like I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. You know, Will Smith, he's from Philly. I live in Pennsylvania. He right up the street from me. Like, what makes these people so special? And it's not about the know-how. It's not about the resources. It's not even about who you know. It's about the plan. It's all about how clear are you Truly, when it comes to your plan for your life, when it comes to your plan for your business, your plan for your relationships, your plan for your spirituality, for the person you really want to become, do you plan for these things? Do you plan for the man or the woman that you're striving to become? Do you plan to actually help yourself develop and become the person that you are just striving to become? Is this something you plan? Or are you kind of just in limbo? Do you just go with the flow, hope that you have a great day, hope that you wake up, hope that you know you're healthy, hope that you're not gonna have a heart attack or have high blood pressure or diabetes because of all the stuff you're eating? You know, like, do you just hope for the best? Or do you actually strategically plan for the best. See, planners, people who plan for their success, they are more than likely, they are actually 99.9% .9 more likely to attain their success than the individual who doesn't plan. Sometimes there's the 1%, the 0.001% of people who just happen to get lucky, happen to, you know, just happen to have the chips fall where they wanna fall. Every now and then that happens, but it's not common. In order for you to truly take your business to the next level, take your brand to the next level, take your relationships to the next level, take your quality of life to the next level, we must plan for this. This is what the most successful people have in common. They plan their success. It's not a coincidence that Will Smith is this successful. It's not a coincidence. It's not a coincidence that Oprah could go from being, you know, abused as a child and and actually living in basically poverty and living in orphanages and, and just struggling to now being one of the wealthiest women in the world. It's not a coincidence. It's not by accident. It's not an accident that Jeff Bezos literally had to write on his wall Amazon and, and spray paint. 
and having a computer that was basically barely functional to now having a multi-billion dollar company. It's not a coincidence. He didn't do that by not planning. He's only that successful because he strategically seen his outcome. He seen the person he wanted to become and he planned for it. He planned for it even when he didn't have the right resources. He planned for it even when he didn't know all the answers. He planned for it even when he probably was sleeping in his car, when he didn't know when his next meal was going to be. He planned still to be highly successful, even though he didn't have all the answers, but he planned for it. Now, the question is, are you planning? What are you planning for? Are you planning to struggle? Are you planning for bankruptcy? Are you planning for an unhealthy diet which could produce diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol? Are you planning for those things because you're not planning at all? Remember, if you, pl if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. If you, you watching this video right now, yes, even though I don't know your name, even though I might not know about all of the details of your business, even though I don't know your family situation, I don't know your relationship situation, but you watching this video right now, are you planning? Are you truly planning? Or are you planning to fail? Because that's what's gonna happen. Whether you're someone who went to Harvard or not, whether you're someone who went to a community college or not, maybe you didn't go to college at all. Maybe you're someone who actually had to struggle your entire life. Maybe that's you. But guess what? If you actually plan, plan who you want to become, plan which direction you want to take your business, plan who and how the things are going to actually come about. If you actually plan, you will already be ahead of the 99% of people who do not. Because 99% of people don't know what type of business they want to have. They don't know who their target audience is. They don't know how to market themselves properly and that branding is actually important. If you're, if you're a business, if you're an entrepreneur, if you actually are someone who's trying to have that, that, that longevity type of wealth, you know, or a lot of people don't plan about what makes them happy. A lot of people don't plan, you know, how they actually want to enhance their family's life. A lot of people don't plan these things. They don't plan. They hope that things are going to work out. But any successful person will tell you that things don't just work out just to work out. You have to plan for it. You have to come up with a clear strategic strategy. And how can you seek that clarity? How can you you can't, I keep talking about get clear, get clear, get clear. How can I find clarity? What some are some of the things that I can do in order for me to start planning right? Ask yourself questions. Ask yourself the uncomfortable questions. Why? Like you can ask yourself, you know, why am I unhappy? Or you can ask yourself, what do I truly want for my business? Who really is the, the, my customers? Who, who really wants to buy my stuff? Like, who really, are my, who really is my audience? Or you want to ask yourself, what, what, and what type of image am I really projecting out to the outside world? When people think of Khadijah Baines, what are they really thinking about? Who do they really think I am? Am I really branding myself, whether for business, whether for life, whether for whatever? At the end of the day, we all have a brand. It doesn't matter if it's for business or not. We all have a brand. We all are giving off a type of uh, reputation of ourselves, whether that's to family, friends, lovers, business partners, it doesn't matter. We all have a reputation. What type of reputation do you want to have? What type of reputation do you really truly want to convey? So are you planning for these type of things? Are you planning for who you want to truly become, what type of person you really truly want to project to the outside world. You know what I mean? It's just like planning is so important. So just asking yourself more questions is a great way to get crystal clear on who you truly want to become and what's going to be the best way for you to execute your life. Another thing you can do is so you can plan and you can surrender. And you're probably wondering, what do you mean surrender? 
surrender how? How can I surrender when I got to do all this planning? Like, what do you mean? A major part of planning is this. It's understanding that the process will change, that certain things about you will change. That doesn't mean that you're not going to be the same person, but at the end of the day, with anything that grows, with anything that gains momentum, you are going to transform yourself. Like, think about a snowball. Think about a snowball going down a mountain hill. It started off this small. It started off this small, right? And then as it started to gain momentum, as it started to move forward, as it started to progress, as it started to grow, it started to change. But guess what? That still, that little ball is still there. That little snowball is still there, okay? You're still the same person, but at the end of the day, as you grow, as you gain more momentum, as you continue to progress, you are going to change. You are going to get bigger. You are going to look different. But that doesn't mean that the little ball that it first started with isn't still within you. It's still there, but you have grown at this point. You've developed. You've enhanced yourself. You've become bigger. You've become stronger. You've become more powerful. And that's how you want to just look at life. That's how you want to look at your business. Like, plan for these things, though. Plan your success. Actually, come up with a strategy. Another way you can do that is listing. Listing small goals. And this is going to help build confidence. This is going to help you be able to see and put your goal right in front of you. This is going to be something that you can carry with you 24-7 throughout your day. Like, actually make a list of your goals. Make a list of, hey, I want to actually, for 30 days, I want to make a video about my business every single day. I want to have a YouTube channel. Or I want to be able to take bring in at least 10 customers a day for my business. I want to make sure that um, I'm actually making an impact in my community. I want to volunteer at least once a month in my community. Or maybe you're someone that wants to spend more time with your family. I'm going to make sure that I only work three hours a day in my business because I want to spend time with my husband and my wife. Whatever that's important to your outcome, whatever that's connected to your outcome, that's how you want to go about strategically listing your goals. And keep your goals in front of you. List them out and then check them off throughout the year. Every year, make an entire list of goals and check them off. Check them off. Check them off. And you're going to be able to see, of, you're going to be able to see the momentum that you have gained throughout the year. Even though we're in February, it's so early in the year, it's crazy. It is not too late for you to set your goals. It is not too late. So thank you guys so much for joining another chaos to clarity episode because yes, this was a bunch of chaos. Like if you don't plan, then guess what? There is going to be chaos in your life. But after watching this video all the way until the end, I hope that I was able to provide some massive clarity for you, your business, your family life, your um, self-development every aspect of your life that can enhance you. I hope that I was able to transform you from chaos to clarity throughout this video. If you do want to learn more, if you want more clarity strategies that you can start to implement in your life, in your business, in your self-development journey on becoming a new entrepreneur, or just becoming the best version of you, if you want more clarity tips, go ahead Click the link in the description of this video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's free. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get access to me 24-7. I have a lot of major information I share on a regular basis. Um, go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Share this out to any friends, family members, colleagues that you feel like can benefit from understanding the power of planning. And um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for joining. It's your girl, Khadija Baines here, number one clarity queen. And I'll see you guys on the other side. Bye.